Um, when we were little kids, our math teacher used to trick us with some numbers using the four basic operations in mathematics. All our thoughts is that our math teacher is doing some magics. So today I'm going to reveal that secret for you. But before then, let us play the game again. All right, everybody get ready. Choose any number from one to nine, any number. Are you ready? Then multiply that number by two. Whatever number you pick, multiply it by two times two. From the result, add 10. Whatever you obtain, add 10 to the result. Are you ready? Then divide the whole result by two. Whatever you obtain, divide by two. Are you there? Now subtract that number you have chosen initially. What we have left is five. So honestly, your math teacher is not even interested in knowing what number you have picked. All he knew, he will ask you later on to subtract that number you have chosen. I say choose a number. For me, I don't care, I'll choose X. But I know this X represents those numbers you have picked. Then I say you should multiply it by two. I know you are going to obtain two X. If you have chosen three, three times two, you will get six. But for me, I'll have two X. Then I said from this result, which is two X for me, I say you should add 10. For those of you that have chosen three, three times two, is six, then six plus 10 is 16. But for me, this is what I have because they are all like times I cannot join them together. Then I say from this result, divide by two. I know two can go into two X, leaving only X because two will cancel two. Plus two can go into 10 five times. So this is what we have for now. But lastly, the math teacher said you should subtract the number you have chosen initially. For me, I know I have chosen X. So from this X plus five, I will subtract X. Definitely, I will be left with only five. And hence, the result is five. So this is just the logic behind it. it there's nothing like magic here. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.